He played songs for a silent young girl daily, yet he could never have foreseen that his guitar, his sole friend, would be a key to unlock something incredible. It was a summer afternoon in the busy Los Angeles. The heat was intense, with the blazing sun shining bright in every corner of that concrete jungle. Gabriel, a Latino young musician about 25 years old, woke up in his modest improvised room in an abandoned building where many other homeless people were sheltering. The rumble of his stomach signaled the lack of food. The last decent meal seemed like a distant memory. He rubbed his eyes, and then his disheveled hair fell over his face. The messy beard added to his unkempt appearance, but there was an undeniable charm in that tired countenance. His brown eyes were like portals to a soul filled with intensity and sadness, every spark in them reflecting a weight that seemed greater than anyone could carry alone. Despite it all, he got up determined, knowing he had a task to do. The young man picked up the guitar that leaned against the wall. The instrument was worn out from time and constant use, but it still made music as beautiful as always. Gabriel ran his fingers over the strings, adjusting each one to make sure it sounded perfect. Once satisfied, he said goodbye to his fellow homeless friends and left the abandoned building with the guitar in hand. Upon reaching the park, the young man settled down in his usual place, a small corner in the shade of a large tree. He began to play, the melody echoing through the park, mixing with the sounds of the city. Hours passed, but the amount of money in his guitar case was disappointingly small. It seemed that that day, luck was not on his side. Still, he persisted, playing song after song, hoping that someone would stop to listen. Around noon, he counted the coins he had won. It was just enough for a hamburger and a soda. Though it was little, it was enough, and he was grateful. But at that moment, Gabriel didn't know that his life was about to change in ways he could never have imagined. Before living on the streets, Gabriel was a talented and promising musician. When he was a child, his family moved to California from Mexico and tried to build a new life there. He grew up watching some artists and fell in love with the guitar. With a lot of effort, his father managed to buy an old guitar and gave it to him as a gift. It was the young boy's dream come true. Then, as he got older, the young man started playing in local bands and was recognized for his indescribable skills on the guitar and his sweet, soulful voice. However, Due to a series of unfortunate events, such as the sudden loss of his parents and an attack on immigrants, and then several financial problems, he ended up losing everything he had and was forced to live on the streets. Despite his difficult situation, Gabriel never gave up on music. The only thing he had left of his old life was a guitar that he got as a gift from his father, and since then, the instrument has become his only company and source of income. He played in parks and sidewalks, sharing his music with anyone willing to listen. Gabriel was a kind and humble person, always thanking those who stopped to listen and left a coin in his donation box. He dreamed of the day he would have a place to call home again and return to the big stage. However, until that day came, he continued to play his guitar in the streets, spreading his music to everyone who needed a little comfort and hope. As he performed his melodies, a crowd began to gather around him, curious to find out what was going on. Gabriel broke into a melancholy song, his husky, emotional voice filling the air. Wonderful! They shouted, excited. People who stopped to listen quickly found their tense expressions softening, and on some faces, tears began to flow. They could hear the sadness and pain in the young man's voice, but there was also a note of hope and beauty that mingled with the melody of his guitar. The people passing through the park gathered around the young man, enjoying his song and contributing a few coins. They felt that the young man's music had something special, something that transcended notes and chords. People smiled, applauded, and left a few more coins to help him. This young man has a lot of talent, they said. At the end of that day, when the crowd dispersed, Gabriel looked at the donation box and saw that he had collected a considerable amount. He smiled grateful for the people's support. And it was like that every day. The boy would wake up, tune his guitar, play, and see how much he had earned with his music. There were good days and bad days, but he kept hoping that one day he would overcome that situation. It was then that a day like any other, the homeless young man found himself sitting in a corner of the park with his guitar resting on his lap. He would play a few notes, trying to find the right melody for his next song. Around him, some people rushed by, while others stopped for a few seconds to listen to the music he played. 
Suddenly, the man realized that someone was standing very close to him, watching him curiously. He looked up and saw a girl with brown hair and big eyes looking at him. The little girl seemed to be about eight years old and carried a pink backpack on her back. He had already seen that little girl a few times walking around the park before. He imagined that she should live nearby, as she always passed by when she returned from school. Hi, little friend. How are you? said the young man. However, the little girl didn't answer and just smiled. The young man smiled at the girl and continued playing. She came even closer and sat beside him, resting her chin in her hands. Gabriel was strangely encouraged by her presence and continued to play. Do you like music? he asked. She, again, didn't say anything, just nodded her head. As he played, the homeless man noticed that she was paying close attention to his music. The little girl would close her eyes and nod in the rhythm of the music. Gabriel noticed that she was an attentive listener and decided that he would play a special song for her. Since you're enjoying this one, I'm going to play something really cool. Want to hear it? He said. She, as usual, nodded yes. The young man began to play a soft song with a delicate melody that seemed to float in the air. His voice was charming and matched his current situation. The girl opened her eyes and looked at Gabriel with a shy smile. She seemed enchanted by the song, and he felt strangely thrilled to be playing for her. And he kept playing, letting himself be carried away by the music and the emotions it brought him. He felt that his music was touching the girl's heart in a special way, something that went beyond the notes and chords he was playing. When he finished, the little girl applauded him enthusiastically. Ha ha, thank you so much, little one. Gabriel thanked her, and she got up to leave. Before leaving, the little girl dropped some coins into the young man's donation box and walked away, looking back with a smile. Gabriel was moved by her presence and silently thanked him for having played for someone so special. He felt very happy to have shared his music with her, although he was feeling something strange. The next day, Gabriel returned to the same park with his guitar, and to his surprise, the girl was there again, waiting for him. She ran towards him, a bright smile on her face, and sat down next to him as if they were already old friends. Hi, little friend. How are you today? He asked. But she didn't answer again, just nodded. It was then that he noticed that the little girl couldn't speak. She was mute, although she could hear everything. And so they began to develop a peculiar friendship with gestures and, of course, music. The homeless man was happy to see the girl coming back every day, and he played beautiful songs some of his favorite songs just for her. The little girl listened intently, shaking her head in the rhythm of the song. Gabriel found it strange how that little girl was always alone without her parents and why she always wore the same clothes, a little lace dress and black shoes closed with pantyhose. Still, they became good friends. They spent a lot of time together playing the guitar and he told her about his life, how he loved music and wanted to learn to play the guitar since he was little. He also told how he lost his family and how he ended up living on the streets. And the girl listened carefully. Often, the little one would point her finger at the guitar and smile. Gabriel, without understanding much, would just say, Yes, it is a very special guitar. Young Gabriel found an unexpected joy in the little girl's presence. She became a beacon in his life. And his music acquired an even deeper meaning when he played for her. As the days passed, the friendship between the two grew stronger. They became an inseparable duo in the park, playing together every day and attracting more and more people with their music. The little girl, in her little lace dress and with ponytails in her hair, danced with joy to the sound of Gabriel's guitar. It seemed as if every musical note flowed through her, making her move in an almost magical way. The connection between them was palpable and captivated passers-by. People stopped to watch the young musician, commenting on how beautiful his music was. The smiles on their faces and the applause that followed the presentations were proof of the admiration they felt. The presence of the little girl in the homeless man's life made his difficult routine on the streets much more bearable. He thanked God every day for having met that special girl and felt that, in a way, she was a blessing in his life. With her dancing beside him, Gabriel began to receive more tips than he had ever received. It brought him genuine happiness, a relief he couldn't have imagined. He was sure that she was the reason things were working out. However, the truth that was about to be revealed was something that no one could ever imagine, and it would drastically change everything in that boy's life. Some time passed, and winter had already set in. Gabriel woke up and went to the park, waiting for the mysterious girl who visited him every day. 
Sitting in his usual spot, guitar in his lap, he was waiting for her, but that day he was weaker than usual. As usual, the girl appeared and sat down next to him without saying a word. The boy tried to greet her with a smile, but the paleness of his face and the fragility of her expression were noticeable. It turns out that Gabriel suffered from a rare and debilitating disease known as myasthenia gravis. The condition affects the muscles and nervous system, causing muscle weakness that may worsen with physical activity and improve with rest. Myasthenia gravis, if left untreated, can result in myasthenic crisis, episodes of severe muscle weakness that can be fatal. The young man discovered the disease several years ago when he was still living with his parents and he began to feel tired more often and had difficulty performing simple physical tasks. However, due to the lack of health insurance and an overly expensive healthcare system, he was never able to seek proper treatment. So he learned to live with the disease, but he knew that his health was getting worse. He did his best to stay healthy, trying to eat well and rest whenever he could. However, life on the streets was hard, and he couldn't always keep the disease under control or eat even properly. Gradually, the homeless man noticed that the weakness episodes were becoming more frequent and more intense, and despite all the hope he placed in his music and in the company of the girl, he knew that his situation was serious and that he needed medical treatment. But without money or resources, he felt helpless and hopeless. He was visibly tired that day, and when the little girl sat down next to him and looked at him worriedly, he said, Hi, little one, I'm feeling a little weak today. He spoke with his husky voice, bringing a melancholy tone. Gabriel tried to strum a few notes on the guitar for her, but his energy seemed depleted. The girl looked at him with a clear expression of apprehension in her eyes. Then she took some oranges out of her bag, placing them next to him on the bench. He saw the gesture, and his eyes lit up with gratitude. Thanks, dear he said, starting to peel one of the oranges with shaky hands. As he ate, Gabriel noticed that the girl was still looking at him, her expression sad. What is it, little one? He asked. Don't worry, okay? I'm fine. I just need some rest. The little girl, though silent, conveyed her uneasiness through an affectionate look. She nodded slightly, as if she was asking if he needed anything else. Gabriel smiled, moved by her empathy and kindness. You are already helping, dear. Your company is what makes me feel better every day, he commented, sincerely grateful. The little one pointed her finger at the guitar and looked him deep in the eyes. The boy, thinking that she wanted him to play something for her, said, Oh, my flower, I don't think I'll be able to play anything for you today. I'm sorry. And at that moment, a sudden weakness took over his body, and the boy closed his eyes full of tears. He knew his time was running out, but having touched the girl's heart and her caring so much for him, was something that made him truly happy. He said, still with his eyes closed, his voice full of emotion, your friendship means a lot to me, little girl. Together in silence, they watched the park movement. The sun was setting, casting a golden glow over the winter landscape. And there, on that park bench, an invisible bond grew stronger between Gabriel and the little girl, born from the melody of a song and the dance of a pure soul. The days passed and the health of the homeless man only got worse. The girl, even though she was a child, realized that he was increasingly weakened. Then one day, Gabriel woke up in an unfamiliar place. He was lying on a bed, weak and frail. Worry took over him when he realized that he had been taken to a shelter after feeling sick on the street and passing out. His thoughts wandered in a mixture of fear and uncertainty about his future. He feared that if he couldn't get better or find a solution to his health problems, he wouldn't survive the next crisis. What am I going to do, my God? I can't go on like this with this life, thought the poor guy. As the volunteers tended to him, administering medicine and providing necessary care, Gabriel couldn't hold back his tears. He felt vulnerable and helpless, wondering what it would be like if everything were different. Hope seemed to fade amid the tears that flowed through his eyes. He also worried about the little girl. She'll get there and she won't find me. You'll think I'm gone, poor thing. However, it was at that moment when fragility took over him that the young man noticed something surprising. At the entrance to the shelter shed, a small figure was standing. It was the girl with a kind and compassionate look. She looked at him from afar and ran towards him, her little heart pulsing with empathy and solidarity. The homeless man's tears gained a new meaning, mixing with the emotions that overflowed inside him. He wept as he realized that even in the silence he found someone who genuinely cared about his well-being. It was an indescribable and powerful feeling, able to touch his soul amidst the darkness.
The girl approached, her eyes conveying an understanding beyond words, and he asked, Hey, little friend, how did you find me? And what about your parents? They're going to be worried, aren't they? She nodded no and just smiled. He felt a comforting warmth fill his heart, a feeling of deep and true friendship. And after understanding that his illness would consume him soon, in a gesture of generosity and recognition, Gabriel looked at his beloved guitar next to the bed and picked it up. With a weak smile, he said he wanted to present it to the little girl. I want you to have it, little one. I want you to remember me and know that this is a symbol of our friendship. In that moment, he knew their friendship would transcend any obstacles, even when words couldn't be said. As the tears continued to flow, Gabriel reached out and handed the guitar to her. However, it was exactly at that moment that the unimaginable happened. The girl stretched her little arm, and when the boy handed it to her, the guitar fell abruptly on the floor. The loud sound echoed through the shelter, attracting glances from the homeless who were there and the everyone there. Gabriel, with a startled jump, turned to the girl with an expression of incomprehension. He couldn't believe his own eyes. The guitar passed right through her hand as if she were a, a ghost. The little girl just pointed at the guitar again. It was then that the boy noticed something unusual. The back of the guitar was slightly undocked, revealing a second layer he had never noticed. Quickly, he pulled the lid off, revealing a hidden compartment. Inside, there was a document and a photo. The document was an old certificate of authenticity, confirming that the guitar was the first made by Antonio Torres Jurado, the renowned creator of the modern guitar. Gabriel was shocked because that guitar, which he had played all these years in the streets, was a priceless treasure. It should be worth a fortune. He looked at the girl in disbelief and whispered, How? How did you know? She, once again, silently pointed to the photo. It was a black and white image of Antonio and a little girl. On the back of the photo was written, To my darling Melody, 1864. It was her, the little girl in the picture. She was the same girl who had been by his side all this time. In that instant, Gabriel noticed that the girl was a little translucent. A soft light radiated from her. The guitar he had played all these years was hers. That girl was never just a girl. She was a soul connected to that guitar, to the music it played. Melody smiled at Gabriel, a serene, cheerful smile. She got up and so smiling began to dissipate, smoothly disappearing among the people. Gabriel watched as tears streamed down her cheeks. He could never imagine how it would all end. After recovering physically and emotionally, the boy took the guitar to a museum where it was confirmed as the first guitar made by Antonio Torres Jurado. They offered him an incalculable sum of money for the instrument, a fortune he never dreamed of having. With that, Gabriel was able to get the treatment he so badly needed for his illness. He bought a house, rebuilt his life, and with part of the money, opened a musical instrument store. His love for music never faded. He continued to play, each note, each melody, a tribute to his parents, who were the ones who gave him that beautiful guitar, and the little girl, who showed him the way to find his treasure. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.